Hey guys, welcome to the 16th lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushri and today we're going to study about unsharp masking and high boost filtering. Now this is primarily used in the printing and publishing industry to sharpen images. The process involves subtracting an unsharp or smooth image from the original image. This process called unsharp masking consists of the following steps. So the first one is blurring the original image. We know that smoothening will suppress most of the high frequency components, right? The second step is subtracting the blurred version of the image from the original image. The resulting difference is called the mask. So thus the output image will now have most of the high frequency components that are blocked by the smoothing filter, right? The next one is add the mask to the original. This will enhance the high frequency components. So this is the concept behind unsharp masking. Now let's understand this with the help of equations. The first one for unsharp masking, we have fs of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y minus f dash of x comma y where fs of x comma y is sharpened image f of x comma y is original image and f dash of x comma y is blurred image so subtracting a blurred version of an image from the original image produces a sharpened image right so this is the sharpened image we get it by subtracting the blurred from the original now let's look at what is high boost filtering fhb of x comma y is equal to a of f of x comma y minus f dash of x comma y now what is happening here we take a factor called a okay which specifies the amount of sharpening of the image so we just multiply that factor by the original image and subtract the blurred version from it so because of that we get a more sharpened image so the greater the value of this a the more sharpened our image will be. Now what are we doing in the next step? This f dash of x comma y, we are substituting its value from our previous equation, this one. So if this is our equation, then f dash of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y minus fs of x comma y. So that we are substituting in this step. Okay, so eventually we get FHB, which is for high boost, FHB of x comma y is equal to A minus 1 F of x comma y minus Fs of x comma y. Now you might be wondering why are we looking at all these equations. This is mainly because we are trying to get the mask for high boost filtering. Once we get the mask, we can apply it on images and then we can get the sharpened images easily. So this equation which we got right here, this is the generalized form of unsharp masking where A is greater than or equal to 1. Now this means that this is the equation for both unsharp masking as well as high boost filtering. If A value is equal to 1, then it is unsharp masking. But if A is greater than 1, then it is high boost filtering. So A specifies the amount of sharpening of the image. As A increases, the sharpening of image also increases, but only to a certain point, after which it decreases. Okay, so A can only increase to a certain point. Now, if we use Laplacian filter to create the sharpened image fs of x comma y with addition of the original image, then our equation would be something like this, fs of x comma y, which is the sharpener, sharpened image, which we had over here. So what are we doing here? We are applying Laplacian filter on it to sharpen the image. So it, either of these will be the equations for it, where delta square f of x comma y is the Laplacian filter, right? So if we apply this, then our high boost filtering formula would look something like this. fhb of x comma y is equal to a f of x comma y minus delta square f of x comma y minus or plus, right? 
so using this we can create our mask now so using the above formulas as you can see here we have got the high boost filtering mask so here you can see these masks they are similar to our laplacian mask right if a is equal to 1 then that would be our case of enhanced laplacian filter remember we had uh, the value of 5 here for enhanced laplacian and the value of 9 here if you haven't watched the previous videos yet then kindly do so you will understand the concept behind enhanced laplacian filter which i had explained in under spatial filtering okay so if a value is greater than 1 then that would be our high boost mask now let's look at a question here apply high boost filter on the image given below on the center pixel use the mask with a is equal to 1.7 so we have our input image here and we would apply the above filter so let's just choose this filter and let's apply it on this image now we have to apply it on the center pixel so we'll apply it on the center pixel this is our origin now what is the value that we will get we have to multiply all of these values a into minus 1 plus 2 into minus 1 like that so on so we just take minus 1 outside and we'll add all of these 1 2 3 4 except for 5 we'll add the others and then we will multiply 5 into a plus 8 now for a they have set the value as 1.7 so we'll take this 5 and 1.7 plus 8 so this we will get as minus 1 into 40 plus 5 into 9.7 this will be equal to minus 40 plus 48.5 which will be nothing but 8.5 so this value will replace with this value and that would be our final answer so that was it for this lecture i will see you in the next one